everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and the Chrome box is back on the desk today because Google has just announced that uh, the first round of Android apps that work in Chrome OS have been released. There's about four of them right now. I'm going to step you through a couple of them just so you can see what it looks like. So uh, these are available on the Google Store, the Chrome Store. And we've got Evernote here, which I'll boot up right now. And this is now not the Chrome version of Evernote, but the Android version of Evernote. And as you can see, it loads up right here. Now, the, there's a couple of issues right off the bat. The first is that you can't make this window any bigger. So it runs uh, these Android apps at this size only. So if you're on a 1080 display uh, using a Chrome box or you know, have a Chromebook that has a slightly larger uh, resolution, this is about the max that you're going to see out of it. Uh, so you can't resize it at all. And then you can pop into the notes, though, and start uh, editing things. So I've got a little test note here. I can go up here and click Edit. And this really does feel a little bit disjointed because it's still, it's an Android app. So it's, you know, it's kind of designed for a touch screen, uh, but we're using it now uh, on a more desktop or laptop kind of computer. So as you can see, it's even got uh, the Android uh, cursor thing here. So uh, we can just go down a little bit. I'm going to keep typing. And then what I'm going to do is I have a PDF that I grabbed from one of my emails here. And I'm going to try to drag it in here, but as you can see, it doesn't work. So there's really kind of no connection between you know, drag and drop on a Chrome OS application, in this case, the Files application, uh, and the Android uh, iteration of Evernote. Now, what you can do is uh, attach a file. So I think if I go, where is it? I think it's this one here. Or Yep, there it is. And I can click on here. Um, it will attach the file. But when I go to look at it, look at a mess this turns out to be. It's just like... Um, it's all like jumbled up. If you, you can't really see it here, but you can see like a little watermark telling you which uh, software development kit actually uh, designed the PDF. And just so you know, this is the actual PDF uh, loaded up uh, from Chrome natively. So uh, the Evernote app needs a little bit of work. It'd be nice if you could make it full screen and resize it and everything, but I think that might be a limitation of how they're uh, implementing that. I'm going to try one more. There's a kid's game with some animation on here, so it'll be a good test to see how uh, some of these work. So I'm just going to click on a uh, kid's sight word that I downloaded. Again, there's only four right now, so I don't have any advanced games to show you just yet, but as soon as one of those do come out, I will do a follow-up video. I've got the, uh, the sound running in the background. I can't actually hear it right now as I'm recording, so hopefully I'm doing this right. But as you can see, you know, you got sound, you got, you know, pretty much full Android uh, functionality for a game like this. And it's, uh, it's, I think it's a sign of what will come. Uh, you cannot resize the window here either. So it's very similar to the issue you're dealing with uh, with Evernote. Uh, the cool thing though, is you can see it's running it in the background uh, while we're switching back and forth. So you can kind of treat these like, almost like little Windows apps you would on another operating system. You can, you know, pop around to different things, multitask and uh, kind of get uh, multiple Android apps visible on your screen at the same time, which is pretty cool. So this is an interesting new development for these Chrome OS devices. And I was very intrigued by this because when I heard about this announcement where Android apps will be coming to Chrome OS, I was expecting that we could just run everything on Android on here, get access to the, you know, the Google Play Store and all that. Uh, but that's not apparently what's happening. It looks like these uh, Chrome OSified Android apps are going to be put into the Chrome OS store, and we've got to grab them out of there uh, to run them. And as you can see, they just feel a little disjointed. The kids app seems to work okay, but uh, Evernote really needs a little bit of work. And I, and I wonder if we're going to just see kind of a, you know, almost a fork in the road here for a lot of these Android apps. Are they going to have to develop a desktop version to run on Chrome OS as well as a touchscreen version? Um, it is a little frustrating that you can't resize these windows. I mean, something like Evernote, you've, you certainly want to have uh, the full screen experience, but of course you could just use their web app as well if you uh, were not happy with this Androidification of uh, that app on your Chrome OS device. So we'll see what happens. I think it's uh, a good, an interesting start. I don't know if it's a good start, uh, but I'm really intrigued to see how some of the more advanced things might work, like some of the higher end games and that sort of thing. So as those come online, I may come back and do a few follow-ups with some apps that I found interesting in the future. But at least in the interim, there are now four Android apps that will run on your Chrome box. It looks like it runs on Intel, and I would imagine it'll run on the ARM devices as well. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.